What up, what up, what up, what up? What's happening, world? Be Marsh Boxing. Yes, indeed, I'm back at it once again with another boxing video. Yes, indeed, heavy downpour, but we still here at the golf course, you know what I mean? Yes, indeed, hopefully everybody had a good weekend. Let's talk about it, man. Devin Haney guarantees a knockout on Ryan Garcia. Devin Haney guarantees a knockout on a guy who he's calling a C-class fighter. Now, you know, we all know where he got that from, at least those of us who know boxing or who was watching boxing back when. Because, you know, there'd be a lot of revisionist history people, right? People who wasn't there, who wasn't watching boxing back when. But, uh... They'll come and tell you about stuff they consider facts, which are not true, you know what I mean? Kind of sort of like what LeBron James does, right? But anyway, this is a boxing video. So with that being said, man, like, Devin Haney's calling Ryan Garcia a C-class fighter, and he's going to knock him out. Like I said, he got that from Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> he got that from Floyd. Look what I just found, y'all. A golf ball. Let's get it. It's not mine. It's not ours. It's a gen I just found doing this video. So, uh, he got that from Floyd Mayweather when Floyd Mayweather called the man Arturo Gatti a C-class fighter. Was Floyd Mayweather lying on Arturo Gatti when he whooped his ass? Fifth round stoppage. When he called him a C-class fighter? Absolutely not, man. That was a guy's honest truth. Is Devin, Devin Haney lying on the man Ryan Garcia calling him a C-class fighter? Absolutely not, y'all. That's the God's honest truth, man. Them fellas ain't lying, you know what I mean? Now, a knockout. Is he guaranteed to get a knockout? <sighs> now, I believe Devin Haney hasn't got a knockout in like five years, like since 2018. You know what I'm saying? Lee, the last person he stopped was was when he won himself a uh, the vacant WBC title. I can't even remember that guy's name when we fought, but I, I do know his name started or eh, his first name or his last name st ended with a Z. Started with a Z. Excuse me, I don't remember his name. Uh, that was the last time Devin Haney got a knockout. So really and truly. If Devin Haney, you already know what they're going to say if you don't knock out this guy, Ryan Garcia. They're going to compare it to Javante Davis. They're going to prop up Javante Davis. Javante Davis is going to come out with his Twitter fingers and have something to say about it if the fight goes the distance. Now, Devin Haney doesn't have to do anything in accordance to what. See how it's so wet? It's so wet, man. It poured hard body last night. Jesus Christ, crucial. But um, Devin Haney doesn't have to uh, do anything in accordance with what uh, or, uh, Javante Davis says or any of his detractors. He got to go out there and get the dub. But without a shot over doubt, in my opinion, dogs, he got to get that knockout, man. He just has to, because you call the man a C-class fighter. Ryan Garcia has been very entertaining in the build-up of this fight. Remember a year or two ago, he was a Christian guy. God, Jesus Christ, he ain't even have no tattoos. This guy wasn't even swearing, you know what I mean? Look at him now, cussing up a storm. Them fellas be talking crazy, reckless these days, right? I knew that whole Jesus stuff was a whole fraudulent thing. Look at him now talking about, I don't do drugs, I smoke weed. Oh, what kind of athlete is out here coming? I don't care if you, if you are, uh, if you can smoke weed legally in California and the million and one states in, in the United States where weed is basically legal now, you just need your ID and you can go up in a dispensary, you know what I mean? Because it's been decriminalized. That ain't something you're supposed to come up out there and talk about as an athlete, you know what I mean? You're supposed to be living a clean lifestyle, you know what I mean? If you smoke your butt, that's on you. You ain't got to pronounce it or tell it to the whole world. That's the image he's trying to give y'all, gangster. He's like 
a tough guy. He's a uh, he's a uh, rude boy. That fellas, Ryan Garcia, man, is a funny guy. You know what I mean? He's been funny lately. You know, I haven't taken nothing he's been doing personally. I ain't make no videos about his antics and his shenanigans. But at the end of the day, let's talk about it. Can Devin Haney get that knockout? Time will tell, man. But in my opinion, he needs to get that knockout to improve his popularity. Not that he's not a popular fighter. Not that he's not on the pound for pound ascension going on the way to the top. But you know, you know what they're going to say. Tank Davis did it. You couldn't do it. So that's going to give these the Tank Davis and the Devin Haney, Tank Davis supporters and the Devin Haney detractors ammo to say this dude ain't all that uh this dude got rocked by Linares imagine if Linares was five years younger you know how these dumbass boxing fans be man and I say dumbass boxing fans I put that in big capital letters because that's what they are man yeah you know I mean social media has created a monster and it's the monster is giving any Tom Dick and Harry who don't know shit about what they talking about an opinion and I even seen somebody talk, talking on Twitter, talking about what's fair for a Devin Haney versus Tank Davis uh, per split. 60-40 in favor of Tank Davis. Like, who the fuck are you to, who, who are you to say what is fair and what's not? That's the world we live in these days, man. And it's the world we live in, and I never uh, give social media that much power or importance to say like it affects boxers or athletes these days or like when when people talk about they being cyber bullied and stupid shit like that man then don't go online you have a block button i'm saying if you're affected by this social media stuff then you're a weakling you know what i'm saying you're a weakling you're not a you're you're, you're not of a strong mindset you know what i'm saying this 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 tennis ball that I found is is uh you know these people really take these ten I said tennis balls these rackets they really I said rackets excuse me golf balls they really take them real seriously like when somebody loses their tennis ball and that joint go over there in the water or something people really be in their feelings I don't know how much these things cost you know what I mean I just come out here play golf with my pops you know kick it shoot the breeze you know what I'm saying but you know, these balls, apparently, they're pretty valuable, you know what I mean? So, Devin Haney has to get the knockout, man. And I ain't even one of them people who always come on this joint talking about if you don't get a knockout, it don't count, or you a bum, or blah, blah, blah. That's casual talk. That's casual talk. I remember one casual. <laughs> uh, I know these fellas personally, you know what I mean? Back in the day when we watched uh, Adrian Broner versus Sean Porter, when it was on PBC, on NBC, on primetime TV, he actually said that uh, Adrian Broner won the fight because in the 12th round, he had a knockdown. He dropped Sean Porter, and for that, he, he, he should have won the fight. He won the fight because he had a knockdown. So I said, what about the other 11, 11 rounds when Broner was getting his ass handed to him? That's casual talk. But in this instance, Devin Haney needs a knockout in Brooklyn at the at the Barclays Center. You know, this guy, because I'm saying that because I agree with Devin Haney hundred percent. Slim is a is a is a is a is a is a, a C class fighter. He's never held a world title. He's ducked world title opportunities before. He's just not that dude. You know what I'm saying he's not a good fighter. He only has a left hook, and his left hook only works against guys who are C class or below fighters. You know what I mean? Got to there's levels to this, man. And Ryan Garcia is not levels to this. Now will will he rise to the occasion? Possibly. He possibly could. You know, he's fighting at 140. He got, uh, you know, them fellas had a rehydration clause. And he drained the man. Tank Davis drained Ryan Garcia. That's just the truth about it. You know what I mean? So it was probably weak in that fight. 
With that being said, now he's at 140. He's probably stronger, tougher, stronger in the gym. See what I'm saying? He got his bearings under him. And that would even make it more impressive if Devin Haney gets the knockout that has uh, eluded him for five years. You know what I mean? Now, I believe he has 15 KOs, maybe 31 fights or 30 fights, something to that effect. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, time will tell. But he says he's going to get the knockout, and we shall see. B Marsh Boxer, let me know what y'all think about what Devin Haney said, and let me know in the comment section. Will he get the knockout? Yes or no? Simple. Nothing more, nothing less. B Marsh Boxer, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out of here. Gone.